Hello Ace, this is RetroTK2 and today we're back making our Pokemon ROM hack. Last time, if you remember, we made it so that we could get a Pokemon in Brock's Den. So if we go over and we click on this Pokemon, or the Pokeball, you'll see that we get Eevee. And we did that replacing the actual script offset with the Eevee event in, I believe it's, uh, it's Celadon City, isn't it? Uh, so. In this episode, I want to get into scripting. And now this is going to be the bulk of our game, yes. Pretty much the bulk of every game. But because all of the assets and artwork and content and whatever is all created pretty much for us, since it is a Pokemon ROM hack, it is the scripting where we make this thing look cool. So, okay, so Pokemon ROM hack scripting. Script editor, yeah, perfect. Uh, GBA. So, XSE is what I remember, and XSE is the one that we are going to use, yes, I believe. So, just pretty much on hack tools, it would seem to be. This is the one that I've heard of before. Hack ROM tools, of course, you want to be in here, because this is a awesome resource. Go extract to. We want to extract that to our desktop yep hack rom tools and click ok and hopefully that should be ok any luck it should be grand yes it is ok so first things first let's do our settings let's choose our script editor and then it's going to want to go to where we are ok so I want to add in this script editor to our uh, actual folder or uh, fancy map our actual programs folder which would be perfect so paste it in there and just wait for it to move of course and yeah I'm kind of excited about this ace but I'm also very very <laughs> tentative about it as well I mean I love programming you'll know but it's more C sharp based programming that I like and this is definitely not C-sharp. This is assembly language or it might even be C. Though I believe it might, is assembly language. But anyway, not important. So let's go into settings, choose script editor. Pokemon ROM hack, Poke programs, XSE. Click open. Offset separated from by default or I don't know. I am going to say yes, is what I'm going to say, and hopefully that'll be okay. Open script. Okay, so this is what a typical script looks like. This is what our EV script looks like. Prepare message. Wow, I actually don't necessarily like... Okay. Part of good things about this editor is, but I'm not liking the fact that it's very plain. I mean, I may as well be using Notepad at this point. Is there any sort of, um, maybe I haven't set it up quite correctly or whatever, which is, I mean, let's be honest, completely possible. I don't know if I'm in love with this editor race. Background color, foreground color, font size. Not a lot of customization that we can do with this is. I mean, if you remember me, I like to use Visual Studio for my editing, so Certainly, whenever it comes to something like that, I'm going to use PKSV instead because that looks a lot nicer. And PKSV is probably where we want to be. Simply put, PKSV is a Pokemon Advanced Script Editor, a very good one. One you will instantly get hooked on. Yeah, I really like this P PKSV. Yes, I'm so I'm going to use this one instead. I think. Aha. Okay. Cool. So hopefully this is going to be the script editor of our dreams. Uh, a lot of people really like this one, seven people with it, and hopefully I will like it as well. Certainly compared to this, while it's great having the hexadecimal uh, calculator and stuff at the side, I'm not in love with the lack of font differentials. And yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much it, yes. So as you can see, uh, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Call, well, nasty, nasty uh, 
not human friendly uh, hexadecimal binaries going on here but we should be able to from what I can remember you can actually use these as just normal uh, function names similar to like what he's doing here is so message box message org message and then okay <laughs> bit of a trial by fire this one is but we'll, we'll press on we'll press on so i'm going to extract all and i'm going to extract it all into yep you guessed it in the desktop extract hopefully that's not going to exit it of course it did it extracted the whole full thing to the desktop well what did you expect rector that is what you told it to do pksv what if we should just have maybe a separate folder for script editors we could try a number of them actually to be fair yes i mean it's always good to you know be sampling which script editor is actually the best i am going to do that actually believe it or not script editor and I love the way the advanced map actually allows you to set that up as well. I'm enjoying this, yes. I think this is pretty good. I think it's coming along pretty well. And hopefully this will all just work for us. So let's go in, choose script editor. And no, we don't want advanced map. We want script editor and we want PKSV. And sure, <laughs> I guess. Right, important. If you have not done so with previous versions run the associated shell bot let's run the associated shell bot access denied brilliant presumably we want to run that as administrator there is no pksv here brilliant please move this to your pksv folder i promise that it exists I really, really do promise it exists. Let's try it again with a renamed version of the file. Brilliant. Well, that's a real problem there, Ace. So, well, you know, we're probably not gonna be running PKSV anytime soon. Well, there it is there. I mean, it is working. It's kinda of cool. Access denied error, access denied. What is it actually doing? Let's have a little look at the actual shell itself. See what we're actually trying to do. We're trying to add pksvui.exe that to me is the exact same so that should be working for whatever reason it's not okay okay i am going to remove this entire statement because pksv is there I promise it's there, Ace. You've seen it. You have seen it. Okay, let's try this and let's press X and let's press save and let's run that shell again and see what's going on with this thing. The operation completed successfully, brilliant. Okay, cool. Uh, not sure why that's coming up with an error there, Ace. That's kind of strange, to be honest. I mean, that should all work, but hey, it didn't. Hopefully now it will. And let's go to open script. The system kind of file this find the file specified. The file specified being the script editor. Okay, so let's try no then and see if that works better. Okay, fair enough. That would make sense. Okay, cool. And as you can see, that's much nicer, yes. Much more uh, yeah, much nicer to read. Uh, certainly it's going to be a lot nicer to edit and you can clearly see what's our uh, comments and what's not which is brilliant this is really cool <laughs> oh okay so these are oh i like this this is brilliant so this is if uh if you can't actually do we actually have to include these if so, okay, sorry, yes. So this is basically what's happening is it's saying, you've obtained EV, okay, we know that. If there's more than six Pokemon in your bag, on your person, we'll say, the Pokemon itself will get transferred to somebody's PC. If the box is full, it will go to the next box. 
and if they're too full they can't accept anymore i'm not sure what happens in these sort of cases these are all sort of things that you really need to nail down a wee bit yes but okay that's cool and I think I'm going to leave it there now, yes. We've set up our scripts, and I don't really want to get too much into scripting just yet since I don't really actually know how to do it. So I'm going to look at some of the videos on that. So, yeah. Rate, comment, subscribe, yes. I hope you're enjoying this series. I'm, I'm certainly enjoying doing it. You can email me at retrotk2 at gmail.com with any videos on scripting that you have found useful. Thank you for watching, yes. And I'll see you in the next video.